Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going over there, Rachel? Great. Great. So Anna is here with us. Me and Anna and Rachel are all here. And Anna is producing for the first time today. So we're going to so, have... So sorry is what we're trying to we're say. We're going to have lots of grace oh, for Anna. Gosh. We're very excited. I've really like prepped myself up for this. And this has all been a disaster already. So It's fine. Hey, guys. It's Not fine. true. Anyway, welcome. <laughs> if this is your first time here, uh, welcome to the Oak and Liam YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I have Rachel behind here. Say hi, Rachel. Hey, guys. And I have Anna behind here. Say hi, Anna. Hello, hello. We are all owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb. So we are Best excited. Best job in the world. Yes, we are excited you're here. Um, a little bit, some stories here while, while people are um, trickling in. We had some snow here in Morristown. Um, not a ton of snow, but it did affect our roads. And up until like 10 o'clock, my road was completely covered. Um, Rach, her driveway, I had to go get her because there's no way she could get out of her and thank driveway. Thank goodness I had a really good Uber today. Yes. She came and got yes. me. I never shut up the whole entire way here. You didn't tip me though. I didn't tip you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to take me home. Oh, that's true. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's a round trip. I forgot. Yeah. I'll yeah. start digging out pennies right please, now. No, please don't do that. <laughs> Dad, Any why could this be fun? Anyway, <laughs> so um, we weren't sure what we kind of decided at 10, like 7 o'clock, actually. We were like, there's no way we're going in today. So I was like, Rach, do you have some organic content prepared? She said, heck yes, I do. Um, so we, we put that out. We were going to premiere it today. And then I was like, you know what? I really want to try to make it into the studio because, one, it's MLK Day. Happy MLK Day to you yes. all. Um, so kids are out of school. Like government offices are shut down, some of them. Um, I was like, I think we'll have quite a few people here. And two, I wanted to offer a sale for you all. Um, so today only, if you have been thinking about joining the Oak and Lamb flock, now is a good time to do it. It is $59 to join. And that is what, what that gets you is our craft with the flock course. And which is a really great course. It's four videos that give some great foundational techniques and, um, like, I don't know what else to say. Like, and it's good skills, for not, skills yeah, and it's good for yeah. if you're a beginner, you don't know what you're doing, or you're very seasoned yes. in crafting. Because there's, like Becca said, a ton of different things from like woodworking to sublimation and sewing and working with epoxy resin. So much goodness in there. So with that, you also get free access to the flock through May 31st of 2022. It's amazing. Like I said, $59 off, and we launch. Or not $59 off. That would be really cheap. It's $59. <laughs> that would be really cheap. We would have to shut our doors and turn our lights off. <laughs> Any, anyway, pardon me. I'm very sorry. Um, we drop cut files every single week for you all. And the way that you access that is through the flock. So it's not like you can just purchase the course and get access. Like in the future, it, it won't work that way. We're just still running this intro deal for you all. But anyway, Lonnie so, just joined today. Yes. Welcome, Lonnie. I was so happy to see her name pop up. I was going to give her a little shout out too. But if you all join, let us know. We want to give you a shout out. I do get a little, yeah. Uh -huh, what? We have a great question. You could have finished your thought though. I do apologize. It's okay. Just if my hands raise, you just get to me Becca, like a teacher whenever she starts it's, going like this, whenever though. it's good for you, you just <laughs> let me know. Uh, Lonnie says, will this be the price I will continue to pay throughout the years? Or is this just an introductory price? It's just introductory. So we've not launched our actual membership yet. Um, this is basically you purchase the course and you get a freebie trial membership. When, once we launch our course, there, it would be $19.99 a month or $1.99 for the entire year. So, um, great question. Fantastic question. But you don't have to pay like this. This will not be a recurring payment. When June 1st pops up, we won't be charging anything else. Like you would have to make the decision to stay on board with us and to um, purchase that membership. Gosh, Rachel, you have full of questions. It's not me. It's the amazing viewers that have questions. Okay, I'm just it, their mouths today. That's fine, fine. Uh, can we use those cut files to sell items we make? You can, absolutely. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, you do have free commercial use license with these cut files. Today's cut file collection launch is kind of interesting. Um, I kind of want to do themed cut file launches, but at the same time, I really want to give you all what you're asking for too. And so for instance, this cut file launch was going to be Valentine themed, right? And 
Then we get a message asking for rubber duck cut files. And I was like, well, how to do a rubber ducky cut file? That's adorable. I love that. So those got thrown in. And then I was like, I need to teach a baby bib. I'm going to do a video showing you how to make a waterproof baby bib. So I need that pattern. So that pattern got thrown into this. And then my friend Lisa, who I think is Lisa Welch here. She was earlier. Yeah. She messaged yesterday and said, newbie question. She just got a cricket for Christmas. And guys, I'm really impressed. I don't say this a lot. I'm really impressed by how good she is already. Uh, Andy and I were talking about, you either have the eye for things like this or not, but she's like very meticulous about things and I appreciate it to my core. Anyway, she messaged yesterday and said, um, if you don't have a video, this is a great idea because I want to learn how to make lined envelopes and how to size them to fit the cards that she's making. And I was like, I love that idea. Um, so I made seven cut files that are envelopes to go with this cut file release and decided today this would be a good day to teach you all. So um, thank you, Lisa, for that wonderful idea. And eventually we'll look at all these cut files. If I've missed anything, please let me know. Oh, you know I'll raise my hand. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. So we are going to be making a lined envelope and I am going to be teaching you how to size it to fit your specific card, like your custom card size. We're also looking um, at all of these cut files. What do we want to do first? Do we want to craft first or look at the files first? Ooh, let us know. You guys yeah. get to choose. Yeah. Yes. And during this time, if you haven't, get your membership. Yes, In absolutely. Quick second, because that's how quick it is. A quick second? Quick second. Yeah. Hi, Kathy. Are Hi, you going to be showing them? those cards today oh, as absolutely. well. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so some of them are like little printing card Valentine cards. And here's the thing. I only made four of them, and here's why. You can take all of these files and make your own card with them. So I don't, when you make a print and cut card, you're very limited. Like this is a PNG, and it would be difficult for people who don't know what they're doing to like, pick this apart and use pieces of it because it's a flattened image. It's easier to make an SVG and let you all make exactly what you want out of them. So I have a few print and cut cards that are ready for you all, but I'm encouraging you to take these files and also make Valentine's. Yes, Rachel. They want to see the cut files. They want to see the cut <laughs> files. Okay. I didn't plug up. My producer's slacking, Anna. Oh, <coughs> I have today. actually not been giving a thorough... Um, outline of all of my duties she's claiming she's never been here and doesn't think, know what's going on i think on. that she's oh. just not trying to take responsibility oh here. yeah I okay mean, it could be that <laughs> it could definitely it could be, that. be that um side note while my computer decides if it's going to work or not because i'm kind of um frozen guess what we did saturday night oak and lamb flock leaders went to the melting pot we went to the melting pot we did it was so yummy it was really good. Um, I had it a couple weeks ago, so I was fortunate enough to get it like twice in a month, which is unheard of. So good. It was delicious. Okay. Then we all talked about, because your computer's still not working, Becca, yeah. over here. Then we, it's still black over we, there? Yes, yeah. it is. Is it plugged in there? Let me check. Uh, let me replug. Anna, tell them that we had to wash everything we wore. Oh, my gosh. So, I, guys, this is GPU little, disconnected. A little uh, tidbit about about me is I only had to wash my hair like once a Good. week, okay. and so Thank you, <laughs> I had actually washed my hair that morning, and now I smell like the melting pot because I'm not <laughs> going to do another wash day, and my coat smells like it. We had and to wash all our coats. Disgusting. Everything smelled yeah. like it. Yeah. I still have not washed my hair either. Um, do you want me to go to your screen? You can, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to show you the files here in Design Space. And, well, actually, you know what? Go back to me for a second because okay. I don't want them to look at my blank screen while I'm explaining this. So if you're new to the flock, the way that you have access to our cut files is a little different than what it will be in a month. So in a month is our goal to launch our um, website, which happens to coincide with our fun fondue party. Really exciting, right? I may be giving away something that I probably wasn't supposed to. Whatever. Oh, Norma! Welcome to the flock. We are so excited to have you here. Welcome, we, Norma. I just got an email. Yes, welcome, 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 Norma. Um, anyway, so when our website launches, there'll be a little course tab up at the top of the website. 
not course, cut file. There's courses too, but cut file tab at the top. And then you'll be able to view and download all the cut files straight from there. It's super easy. However, until that launches, the way that you access all of our cut files is through a Dropbox link. Um, so what you do is you join the membership. We send you a welcome email that gives you information on where to join the private Facebook group um, and then how to access the cut files and Dropbox links. Dropbox link. So a lot of people think that if they don't have access to the flock, they can't benefit from the cut files. That is not true. We will send you the link um, separately as well if you do not want to do the whole social media thing. We get that. Um, is, is our friend Cheryl here today? I don't know if I've seen her. Uh, uh, she messaged on Facebook or not, uh, on YouTube because she found us this weekend and said, I'm not on social media. How can I benefit from this? Um, and I told her to email us, but she did not email us. <gasps> I'm calling her out because she would want me to. Anyway, that's how you can benefit from it if you happen to be looking. Anna's raising her hands. Um, so some people have asked to see your new stickers on your laptop. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So are we doing over? Which do over? Let me, is overhead going to be well, the best? I'm going to have to. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Only for you. Okay, look at this. They're sideways because I can't can't really do much about it. Um, but I have our. Can you pull a little closer to your belly? There you go. Okay, perfect. I have this is a new one. The um, camper for the camp with the flock. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's the graphic there. And then this is the love stamp. And I made this when I was at MGL. Uh, I think it was last Valentine's Day. And there's a story behind this. My grandpa, uh, Sinisak, um, loves stamps. He or loved stamps. He collected stamps. And this was one of his favorite ones. And he would give us special little cards and things like that with this on it. And so I wanted to make that. And I knew I had to have this. So um, if you're an MGL member, go get that one. Um, and then this right here is Beckett and Fallon's handwriting, and I had to put it on there. It's so cute. I love that they write Becca's name M O M O. Momo. 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 Yeah. Um, and then this notebook paper is a cut file. So if you also have handwriting that um, you want to commemorate like this, it doesn't have to be a kid's writing. It could be your grandmother's or your mom's or dad's or, you know, somebody like that. Then you could use this blank. Um, cut file, put it on there, and I could do a member. If y'all are interested, I can do a member only showing you how to easily convert. I could even do it in Inkscape instead of just Illustrator for you all. Um, how to convert handwriting to a cut file. So, anyway, thanks are for asking you showing, that. Like, are you doing that as a video, the Glowforge portion? Or are you showing them that? Uh, you have that? Um, what can your you? Sticker, your sticker. I have not done it. What are you asking? <clears throat> I didn't know if you were going to show them the 3D portion of that. Oh, I, I put it on my, my Instagram. Oh, okay. But no, yeah, I, w I will. I don't have it with me, but I can definitely show them when I do similar. We are on my computer now. Is that we correct? are now. Perfect. Okay, so let's go over here and look at our cut files that we have. I'm going to open this up so that Rachel doesn't have a stroke. And <laughs> what? I'm going to show you the envelopes first. These are really fun. There are seven envelopes that have liners. Now you can make these envelopes even without the liners if you want to. I probably shouldn't have chosen all seven at one time to import into Design Space. Um, but we have this one right here that says, if you flip it, it says, I love you. So it has a little stenciled I love you right here. And then the liner shows through and you have a fun pop of color on your envelope. So that's really fun. Now you can do that to every single one of these envelopes. If you wanted to use a stenciled uh, font, then you could slice out whatever word you wanted from one of these and create the same effect. So that's really fun. I'm going to delete that one since we've looked at it. Then we have this one that has a heart edge to it. Look at that. Anna, do you remember when we were in school and we used to make this design, the upside down, right side up heart that was like all connected? Oh my gosh, all over our papers. All over everything. We were really good at it. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I did that one, so that's fun. That will be really cute for Valentine's Day cards or anniversary or um, wedding or just because that type of thing. And then I did this one that's sort of a lacy doily effect. Um, so that one is really fun. This is probably my favorite. And if you knew me from MGL, um, then you probably know that as well. I, 
that we we had a similar one to this there, but I love a, this one's different. I love a scalloped edged envelope. So that's probably what I'm going to use most of the time when I'm making envelopes. And then this one is really, really fun. It just says hi on it. But see this cutout right here? This cutout is so that it is a self-sealing envelope. So it's not really sealing, but it's a self-closing envelope. Um, so you just insert the tip of the envelope into this part and it closes. You don't have to worry about adhesive. It's very easily open and closed after that. And then this one is just a standard um, envelope, kind of a simple envelope with a rounded corner. And then this is just a simple envelope with that self-closing flap. And this would be really great to take your word and cut out. Let me do one really quickly for you all because it won't take any time at all. So what I'm gonna do is ungroup this and then I'm going to take a text box and type in, we'll type in love. And then I'm going to use a stenciled font see here like this and then what I want to do is I want to flip this so that it's upside down so I'm gonna come up to flip flip vertical like that weld it together and then I'll have my word selected I'm holding in shift and I'll select the envelope and then I'll press slice and this is slicing this word right out of the envelope, just like that. So you can do any word that you wanted with any stenciled font you wanted, or even um, a simple design would be really cute sliced out. Yes, did we have a question? No, I was just looking at you. Oh. Because you're pretty. Oh, I know, I thought you would say that. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, so moving along there, now we have, let me just click through here really quickly and I'll select all of them. These, um, this one's cute. And I had, like, I love the strawberry so much. I was like, I should also offer it to them without any words on it. So we've got that. Um, this, this one, there's so much here. I really, okay, that might be it. Is that all of them? Okay, add to Canvas. So all of these will be available. I haven't uploaded them to the Dropbox folder yet uh, because to be a thousand percent honest, I was testing the envelopes literally 20 minutes before I went live. Well, we didn't We didn't know we were going to go live Do this. today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I almost saved all these envelopes for another release and I was like, no, they're gonna need them for Valentine card. So I may as well go ahead and include this. This is a hodgepodge. Okay, this is one of the Valentine cards and I'll show you, I've already printed off some of them. They're really great for our print and cut. You are a big deal, Valentine. And I'm not sure, Fallon, do you think, come here. Can you look at this Valentine? <clears throat> Do you think that you would like this Valentine? Or do you think you would like this Valentine? This one says you're very sweet Valentine. And this one says you're a big deal Valentine. Which do you like better? Which one? Say it. The strawberry. <gasps> you chose the strawberry over the pickle one? That's a great choice. Okay. Anyway. Um. I love it because I'm not making fun of her, but she says berry instead of very, and I think it's just so perfect. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, so this is a print and cut Valentine. This is a print and cut Valentine. And then I also have, I'm going to pull it out right here if I can grab it. Oh my gosh, there's so many layers. Miss Christy just joined the flock today. <gasps> welcome, Christy. Welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Make sure to go into the Oak and Lamb flock on Facebook and yes. we'll get you in there. This is a print and cut Valentine and I'm hoping my son will agree to use this one this year because it is so cute. Beckett, come here. Can, can you come here? Do you like this Valentine? It has a shirt on it and a bow tie. It's very dapper. It says, hello, ladies. Duck. Oh, you want a duck instead? Okay, yeah. okay. We have vetoed the Hello Lady gift card, or gift card, Valentine card. But there is also a duck Valentine. I can find it here. I'm one lucky duck to have you as my Valentine. Look how cute. Anyway, we also have the strawberry that says I love you very much instead of you are very sweet. So there's two different 
um, sentiments there. And then I did it without the two-tone. See how this is sort of two-tone? I, when I get in designing modes like this, it's hard for me to decide what to do for you all. So sometimes I just do it all. Um, and then you can decide what you want. Which one is your favorite, Becca? Oh. I think... I think I like this one without the words the best. Really? I think. Mm. Which is your favorite? I don't know. It's hard, Everyone's right? worried that Fallon didn't pick the pickle. They're very worried about that. Well, she goes through moods where Someone she's Someone like, said, what happened to you, Fallon? Yeah. Fallon, they want to know why you don't like pickles anymore. It's not a trick question. Do you like them today or no? No, today we don't like them. I do. <clears throat> I know. You love pickles, yes. Okay. So we have those. And then I made this one right here. That's just a heart with XO cut out of it, and it's sort of distressed. So this obviously will come in PNG, which this is PNG, and it will also come in SVG. The SVG will not be distressed because if you were to try to weed this out of a layer, it would be absolute murder. You would hate it. So when you look at the file, um, there will be that difference. This would be really cute as is, as a sublimation uh, print, like printout, or... Um, printable heat transfer vinyl will be really cute on a shirt, super quick, super easy. You would be mom of the year for sending your kid in this custom shirt. I also have this that would be really cute on a, sh a shirt or a onesie. I'll wear my heart on my sleeve. Very fun. And then you could also like duplicate the heart from that layer and put it on the sleeve. That would be cute. I also did this one that would be really cute on a shirt love with little arrows and if you wanted to you can take because it is an svg as well you can take the love off and just do the arrows or you could put xoxo or change the arrows in all the same direction like there's so many different things that you can do with these types of files um i also just did this that was on the little print and cut card because i thought that would be really cute just on a shirt for a kid this guy right here, our conversation heart, best friends forever and ever. So cute. You can change the colors of it with the SVG. It would be great on a shirt. And then it would also be great to flatten that to a simple rectangle and create a print and cut um, Valentine card. Then we have love is all you need, which again would be very cute on a shirt or a Valentine card. So I like I try to do cut files that would be versatile for you all. Um, and then we have these little duckies. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't, I can envision like these as a printed art, something in a nursery, like maybe even separate the two lines and put some words in between or something like that. That would be a really good print and cut banner for a baby shower. It too. would. Little duckies. It oh would. No one can hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you could do them out of felt too and make make them like 3D. Yeah, them a little bit. it would be That'd very be cute. cute. And because they're SVGs, it would be very easy to do that. You would just delete the outline layer and, and then make the, make the little wings a different color or and, and like stand out yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it would be very cute and very easy. Um, and then we have this ducky, which has the shading and all of that fun stuff. And so I wanted a kind of a different look. I, I'm really proud of this one. I think it's very cute. <laughs> And then we have the bib pattern that I was telling you about. And this is only in PNG. Um, there is the fold line that you will put on uh, your folded fabric. So um, if you're not a sewist, then we will be doing a live on this. It's very, very easy. And we do have the measurements here so that you can make, a, make three different sizes in this. Would you say that this bib would be beginner friendly for us? Sewist? Yes, absolutely. That's good. Absolutely. So what you're basically what we're going to be working with, I can give you a little um, lowdown is there'll be two pieces of fabric and then one piece of a water resistant fabric, like what reusable or, or yeah, reusable diapers are made out of. It will be in between that. We'll sew it together and leave a little opening and then we'll flip it and do a top stitch all the way around. It's super, super simple. Very similar to the dog bandana that we did. Uh, and then you can put Velcro or snaps or whatever you want on this. So anyway, those are the files. I wasn't looking at comments. What did they think? Did they love them? Yep. Rachel's eating a double decker crystal right now and cannot communicate. I think it was In fact, a everyone here is eating and I'm just looking. Um, several people have asked if um, you can tell them how to locate the files um, 
if you want to go over that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we can do that right now. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, we're, we're rolling Renee in Renee Fox right now. just joined. Yeah, Renee Fox, welcome. Jennifer, welcome. We already welcomed Christy, but welcome again. My goodness, so exciting. That's four new just huh. since we've been live. Seven new today. And that's amazing. It's, it's a good so day to join. amazing. Good Speaking of amazing, are we on me? Yes, you Okay, because I'm not going to do hand gestures. Actually, I would. Um, you all are so incredible. Last week, mm-hmm. is Kat here? Kat here. Last week, Kat announced that we had just hit 2,000 members. This was last Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember. In one week. You mean subscribers? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's yep. exactly uh-huh. what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Subscribers on the YouTubes. We hit 2,000 last weekend. And this week, you all have increased another 1,000. So we imp- we increased by 50% in one week. That is blowing our minds. You you would like probably be sick of our text threads between me, Nana, and Rachel, even Donnie and Julie. It's like, oh my gosh, have you seen this lesson? And I was like, like refreshing the page over and over. It's like, we have to hit 3,000. And Anna would text me and Becca would be like, I hope y'all are having a really great video go out today because we need X amount of subscribers. And we're like, oh, no pressure. No, no pressure no. at all. I mean, Saturday morning, I said, we need 270 subscribers to get to 3,000. So Saturday to Sunday, we got 270 subscribers. You all are just one day. blowing us away by the support. And continually, every single day, we're getting emails and comments. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found you. OMG, I can't wait to craft with you again. It like every day is like a Christmas party for us when we find some of our old friends and get to craft with you all again. So thank you. If you are not a subscriber already, go ahead and subscribe um, and turn on notifications so you know when we are live. Anyway, let's go to the private Facebook group and I will show you all where to locate the files. Again, this is only temporary. This will change. Um, Like I said, we are hoping to launch our website on our Valentine's Day party. That is our goal. Um, Also, we have a really fun announcement that I'm not going to go into detail about because it is a really exciting announcement that we're going to be talking about that day. And, um, and our fondue party is going to be exciting. Our husbands are going to be there. They may be humiliated. We're going to be delighted anyway. Okay. Oak and Lamb Facebook group. This is the private Facebook group. So if you're watching now and want to access this, we get lots of requests to enter this group by people who are not actual members and that's totally fine. However, you will not be admitted. So, um, it's nothing personal. It's just a perk of being a flock member. Under, right here under featured, this is where we pin really important posts or posts that are new or things that we want to draw your attention to. And under here, if you scroll over just a little bit, we have this post right here. This is our flock cut file Dropbox link. Um, if you click on that, then you can click it up here too. And all of the files can be found right here. Now, I, like I said, I haven't added today's, but if I did add today's, then when you click modify right here, the oldest come up first. If you click it again, the newest come up first. So once I add today's, when you click modify, the newest ones will come up first. Um, is there anything I need to, cause I'm not looking at comments. Okay, we're fantastic. Are there any questions about this? If you still cannot find this link, email us, hello at oakandlame.com. I will be more than happy to send you the direct link to the Dropbox file. No problem at all. Yes, Anna. Um, Miss Patricia just said, what is the cost for the membership? Miss you guys over on MGL. Let's go. If you go to oakandlame.com, and we have shared the link. It is also pinned. It is down in the description, but just oakandlam.com and scroll down right here. You can see this is our craft with the flock course. Today it is on sale for $59 and that ends tonight. So FYI, if you want to join tomorrow, it will be $69. It's nothing personal. It's just a sale. That's how sales work. Um, but what this gets you access to is the craft with the flock course. And then you can see here as well as a special bonus, enjoy free access to the Oak and Lamb flock through May 31st, 2022. It's a little promo we're giving you. Also FYI, once we launch our membership, you, if you purchased this course and got free access, 
early access, then you will get a special discount to join when the actual membership launches. So that's another perk of joining now versus later. No one else will be able to join at the same rate as you. And here's the thing. It's not like you're going to join at a special rate. And then in a year, we're going to jack your price up to everyone else's rates. Your rate is always your rate. Rachel, did you hear that? Yes. 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 I'm sorry. Their rate is always their rate. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. They're making lovey-dovey faces at each other. So someone must have said something really, who really do you, kind. Who do you think would touch my heart? Oh, who touches God. my heart? Anyone. You're pregnant. No. No. Who, 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 come on back up. Dad. Yes. yes. Dougie. That's it. What did Dougie say? He said, it does a daddy's heart good to see so many of you support my girls. And yes, Rachel is included in the my girls statement. Just not in the inheritance. <laughs> I could win him over. You don't know that. You probably already have. Granger, no, you can't eat no, that crystal. you can't have a crystal. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, let's go to the overhead camera and we will look up close at these files that have been made because that's really exciting. Oh. Um, overhead number two. Yes. Yep. And... First, we're going to look at these print and cuts that I did in, Rachel, how long did it take me to make these? Two minutes, it's maybe not. two minutes. You're dropping your burger and Granger's really excited. Uh, <laughs> they can't have onions. <laughs> if she gets the poops. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the print and cuts. These are the four that I did show you in design space and I, I size these at three inches. So they're three inches wide by four inches tall, which I, I don't know. It, I guess, is this kind of a standard Valentine card? Maybe yes. a little smaller? I don't yeah. know. I felt like three by four felt like a good size. And um, this one, I sort of did the same. Three inches-ish. It's a little bit wider than three inches. But I just think they're so stinking cute. And I made these out of a heavy cardstock. So it was like a 110-pound cardstock. What? How many do you think you could get on one sheet of print and cut? Because I feel like size would matter. I feel like I would make them smaller if I could fit more on there. Yeah, no, I agree. This this was four, and I couldn't add a fifth. Um, so maybe, if I, yeah. Well, I mean, because it's 6.75 by 9.25, so you couldn't have gotten any wider. I mean, you couldn't, if, you've, if you'd gotten narrower, you would have had them like two and a half inches. Does that math work? Two, four, five, six, seven. No, that math doesn't work either. This is about the correct size, unless you just wanted to make them bigger. Anyway, so we have those, and this is four of the envelopes, four of the seven envelopes I wanted to show you. This is just the simple envelope with the rounded edges, and you can see here we have the liner, super fun. This is the lacy one, look how pretty that is. I love that. Also with a liner. Earlier, friends, I said that you could make these envelopes without liners, but unless you're, if I were making, last year I made a ton of envelopes for my kids valentines and i did not do liners because those kids rip them open and never even look at them again however if you're making to give somebody don't don't skip out on the liner it really makes a difference this is my favorite again i picked a really ugly color i was about, I was about to <laughs> really ugly color. That. right before the live nice she, made it, she said of course my favorite when i made brown it's a nice poopy brown color however i was using scrap pieces so i i was testing the files for you and just use scrap. This is my favorite, favorite, I think, though. Like I said, this is the one that we've cut out the word here. So our liner shows through. And then you can see it just slides right into this little slot there. And you don't have to worry about it staying closed. So let me know what you think. I'm excited. I'm going to jump back. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. First, let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need to make an envelope today. This is a strong grip mat. This strong grip mat is very well loved. Although Rachel did clean it the other day and it has a lot more stick than it used to. Did that, that video came out. Yes. If you all have not seen it yet and you are interested in learning how to clean your mat, Lisa, that might be a really good video for you. I know that you're new to cricketing. You can clean mats. So go watch that after this. Um, <clears throat> however, if my mats were new, I would grab a light grip mat, light grip what you're gonna want. And then I'm using medium weight cardstock today, and this is white core cardstock, which is not my, it's not my favorite, but it's what we had in, 
You know what? I think we do have cardstock that's not white cord. I don't know if it's worth finding right now. Um, Rocky Top Heart says, what weight of cardstock do you like to use for envelope? Medium weight, great question. I like medium weight. However, for the liner, you could use a light weight. And I'm trying to see if I have any right here. Um, well, this is Christmas, but I guess you get the idea. If I used a lightweight for the liner, then I could have a really cool pattern in there too, which would be neat. Another thing that I like to do is grab a photo and flatten it to, the, like slice it out and flatten it to this and have like a print and cut liner. That's really cute. We're gonna, uh, eventually I'll do a video on all different kinds of liners and, and envelopes and things. But medium weight is a really great uh, place to start for card socks for envelopes. Yes, Rachel. Wait, what's Anna's question? <clears throat> April Rhodes. Yeah, that was my question, okay. so I get to talk. Okay. Becca pick me, not you. What kind of glue do you use to hold down the envelope so they can go through the mail? I, that's a great question. Um, I have not mailed these envelopes, so I don't know. That's a really good question. What do you, let me ask, let me ask our viewers, what glue do you use? When, when I'm making this, I use ATG, or if I'm using a really, um, a really, really thick, cardstock, like a heavyweight cardstock, then I'll even use hot glue, which I know is really frowned upon. But what you, you guys speak, speak up and let us know. Also, I know because you've made these to where you can do sizing and that sort of thing. Specific sizes cost different postage, correct? Uh, apparently square, for instance, if I did a, whoo, wow, I'm very tart. My drink is very tart and my mouth's not working right. It feels really weird. <laughs> wow. Um, a four by four or a square envelope, I'm told, is more expensive. I've never done that. Back to adhesive. For this project, I am using the ATG gun. ATG is an advanced tape glider, and it's a double-sided adhesive that apparently I can't open. Um, but I love this. This stuff is amazing. If you are into paper crafting at all, definitely grab one of these. It is a whole lot cheaper than just the double-sided adhesive, smaller ones that you'll find at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. You can also use, I don't, I feel like with an envelope, this is not gonna have enough hold. Rach, how do you feel about that statement? If I were to use oh, a well, zinc I 100% agree. Yeah. So ATG or hot glue or what? Yes, Anna. As Debbie said, she has used ATG with a sticker. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So you probably just ATG it up like Rachel would, which is why we need to change out our roll. But I, it stays. I'm feeling a little attacked right no, now. No, no, no. No attack. No attack. Mm. No attack. Uh, we do have a good question. What do you suggest... Uh, for flock members who join who don't have a Facebook yet? That's a great question. Um, if you are wanting to access our cut files, then email us hello at oakandlame.com. Let us know that you are not on Facebook and that you would like access to those files. I will send you the Dropbox link. It will be super easy for you to access that. Also, if you want the member-only content, this is, this is cool as well. Uh, eventually, it will be on the website. Uh, right now I'm sharing our videos on Facebook, but we have a playlist of member only content. I can send you the link to that YouTube playlist so that you can watch that as well. But I, I feel like me personally, I'm not gonna speak for all of o and I would suggest to get a Facebook, if not to do anything else, to join Oak and Lamb because it's a very good group in there. It's always going to be a great community in there. You can join with like just your first name or an alias or whatever. All we're going to look at is your email to make sure that you did purchase a course. Your name doesn't have to be the same. It can be totally up to you. But it's a really good part of the membership. Yeah, I was going to say that's probably my favorite part of the Oak and Lame community is the community. Uh, we, we're actually we're going on a camp trip um, and we're really not doing much crafting or anything really organized. It's honestly just to be with the friends that we've made here at Oak and Lamb. Um, that's the kind of community that we have. Um, if you're not into loving others and being kind to others and being uplifting and supportive, don't join Oak and Lamb. Like, I'm just going to let you know. True. Don't do it. True. That's what we're about here. 
we're also about crafting, but our hearts are for other people and are for each other. And we don't want members who don't have that same like idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Anna. Um, Rachel had said something to the effect of you don't even have to put your real name on that Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they do that, do they need to email us and let us know what that they name is? They just need no. to put their email that they okay. purchased yeah. the course because we verify all of them. I yeah. verify okay. every yeah. single yes. um, request by email. And if you don't put an email, shame on you uh, because I have to go looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's hard. Um, it, was there anything else? I don't think so. What's the name of your tape gun again? It is. Did you already answer that? It's no. the Scotch ATG gun, the advanced tape glider gun. It is amazing. There are two different tapes or double-sided adhesive that you can get for it. One is yellow, one is red. Don't get the yellow. Only get the red. Uh, okay. So we said that we needed a mat for this project. We need the cardstock for this project. We need the ATG gun for this project. We also need a bone folder. If you do not have a bone folder, grab a ruler or a credit card or your burnishing tool. Not your burnishing tool, your scraper tool. Uh, yeah, burnishing tool. And then you're also going to need a scoring stylus or you can use your scoring wheel. So you can make these with your Explore series or your Maker series machines. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking at this camera or not. No, we're overhead. Okay, fantastic. Um, so if you have a joy, you can make these with the joy. They have to be small. And you will need something like this scoring board, which is actually pretty amazing, so that you can go in and add the score lines because you can't score with your joy. So there's that option. Also, spoiler alert, um, we have some really fun, a really fun video coming out about the joy. It's going to shock you all. I think I'm going to film that tomorrow, right? It's going to be really fun. So for those of you who have a joy, yes. you're going to be a little blown away by what I'm going to be doing with it. That's we'll all have I'm it go you. out That's on Saturday. You. If okay. we can get it yeah, filmed tomorrow, it we'll tomorrow. have that on Saturday. That'll be really fun. That's all I'm telling you. It's really good. Okay. Let's go back into design space. And you all let me know which of the envelopes do we want to make today? Which looks better to you all? Um, the I love you, the heart the lacy, the scallop, the ones with the words cut out and the little self folding, like, let me know. And then you all have to let me know what they say because I'm not looking at comments. Okay, we got you. Which which is their choice? Which do you all like? Like us? Yeah, you. I really like the straw, oh, oh never mind. wrong. There's question. no strawberry envelope. No, wrong question, wrong question, wait, wait, wait. I like What's, the high. The high, okay. <sighs> that was not favorite. the one I was gonna pick. <clears throat> what were you gonna pick? I was gonna pick the one with the scallop top. The lacy one? Yeah. Okay. But Let's you see know. what they say. Let's okay. see what they say. Oh, oh, lacy. One of them said lacy. Rocky Top Hearts, but let's see what else they say. Lace. Ha. Huh. We're at the lacy? I guess I'm just mainstream, Lace. but Lace. I really think it's beautiful. Okay. Lacy it is. The one with the word. Oh, the wow. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Has, I mean, there's like. Let me see. 11 to 1 is lace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they keep lace. coming in, Becca. It's beautiful. You've outdone yourself. Okay, we're doing the lace. So we've just selected it. We're going to add it to our canvas. And this is what it looks like when it imports. Unfortunately, Design Space has changed their ways. It used to be that when we imported cut files, the score lines were already score lines. It's not that way anymore. I don't know why they've done that. So what we need to do is press ungroup in the top right corner. And then we're going to select this black box and come up to operations. And we're going to change this from a cut line to a score line. So we'll just press score. And then you can see it changed from that black box to this um, score line that's sort of dotted, hyphenated, dashed. And then what I want to do is attach this score line to this cutout line. So right now, if I were to click make it, this score line would probably be on a totally different mat than this cutout. So what I need to do to avoid that is to select both of these layers just by dragging and dropping like this. And then I'm going to press attach. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my uh, liner here. I'm gonna take this line right here and change it from a cut line 
to a score line. And then I'll select both layers again and press attach. Granger's upset because her ball's hidden. Yeah, it's so sad. Okay, so if you like this size envelope, which I don't even know what size it is, to be a thousand percent honest, let me measure really quickly. It is as is. It finishes at six, four by six. Finishes at four by six. However, if you wanted to take this and size it smaller. So let's say we're going, let's import this right here. Let's say we're going to turn it here and we want it to be three by four. So we're going to make uh, just like this. Oh, that's not three by four. There we go. And we want it to fit this. So what we need to do is select both of the envelope layers like this and group them together. The reason that you want to group them together is that you want to size them at the same time so that the ratio of the liner is the same as the ratio of the envelope. Let me send this to the front so that we can see here. What I like to do is place my card right here or a basic shape that's the representation of the size of my card. And I'm gonna come here to this lock button, unlock it so that I can mess with the ratio. If I hadn't unlocked that, then it's going to keep this ratio that I created the file with um, intact. So, yes. Did you mention that great thing you told me you were gonna mention about the ones with the words? I have not yet. That's okay. it. Yes, that's great. So, when with, a, with an envelope like this that has the lace or the words or something like that, if I am taking it and completely distorting the ratio, I need to make sure that it doesn't look completely weird. How, uh, let, me, let me grab this one. Uh, that one won't look as bad. This one right here. If I am importing this one with the words and then I'm going to make it like tall and skinny or something like that, these words are not going to look good if you do not keep a better ratio, it, like the ratio intact better. Um, the other ones don't matter as much. Like this lacy is not going to look weird if it's super tall and skinny because it's lacy. Anyway, so I'm going to zoom in so that I can make sure... I'm sizing this. When you size it, make sure there's a little bit of space all the way around because you don't want it to be so tight that you can't get your card in. So again, I'm just sizing just like this. That looks like it's going to fit really well. So I can delete this layer. I don't need it. And then what I want to do is click make it. Now I will connect to my machine. You can see the envelope is on one mat, the liner is on another mat, and my score lines are attached. That's exactly what it looks like. Let me show you really quickly if I hadn't attached those score lines what it would look like. Um, I just want to show you so that you know what to look for. Ooh. What am I doing? Oh, it was grouped. That's Okay, if I had not attached, click make it, then it looks like this. So my score line is here. Just like I said, it would be on a different mat. So if, you, if it comes up this way, you know first off that's what you need to do. You need to go back and click attach. Okay, so everything is attached here. Again, we're going to click make it. And we will load our cardstock on our mat. We will also select our material setting, which is just going to be medium weight cardstock. Um, and you can choose which scoring tool you want. I'm going to do medium. Now, here, I, I told Rachel this. This is very, very interesting. Sometimes today, I've done it like six or seven times, when I cl click the medium cardstock, Sometimes the single scoring wheel is the default scoring tool. Sometimes the scoring stylus is default. I don't know. It's very weird in my head because it's the same material setting. Anyway, I'm going to increase my pressure and I'm going to change my scoring tool here. I'm going to press edit tools, scoring stylus, and apply. Now I'll load my mat with my material. And then I'll load the scoring stylus. Yes, Rachel. We have a great question. Let's hear it. Miss Debbie said, what all do you get when you join the membership? 
That is a great question. Rachel, if you want to talk about that while I'm loading this on the mat, that Absolutely. would be phenomenal. So with our membership for Oak and Lamb, what you're going to do to purchase that membership is you're going to buy our course called Crafting with the Flock. It is on sale today, $10 off for $59. And that is going to get you access to our private Facebook group, which is where all the goodness happens. Becca has uh, so many cut file releases that she releases for you guys. And then... Um, the community in there is priceless. We have a lot of really amazing fun giveaways for our members and member only content that we create for you guys. You can expect courses coming oh, up. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Courses and, that are included. And again, it is ten dollars off today. We thought we'd come in and have a little sale for you guys and that, that would be a fantastic idea. So fifty nine dollars. Yes. Can't beat that. Um, you may have seen me bray this on. This is called a brayer, and this is really great if you're using cardstock or any sort of material that could potentially move with the cuts. Um, braying it just helps it adhere better to your mat. So now that I have that on my mat, do we like this angle better? Is that what we decided, Rach? It really doesn't matter for a live. Totally up to okay, you. Let's just do right here. Um, also, we had another good question okay. from Miss Connie. Does the liner have to be as heavy as the actual envelope no absolutely not that's a great question I, I said a little bit earlier and you may not have been here I like to use um, even printed cardstock which is light cardstock um, just to give a really cool look to it in fact I may if I have one that looks good with this I may do that for this one it'll be fun I'm putting the scoring stylus in clamp a here you just push it in until you hear and feel a little click and you know that it's secure because I don't have the clamp secure and I'm just gently pulling up and it's not coming up. So that's a good indicator. Now I'll close the clamp and then I'm going to insert this here. It will measure my mat and then we'll cut it out. And while that's cutting out, I'm going to look for a fun pattern cardstock. So let me know if there are any questions. And I'm um, even when I reduce the pressure, the scoring stylus almost always tears my paper. Okay. Um, I would say, is your paper super thin or maybe even your scoring stylus might have like a something on the edge or maybe you've used it a lot and I, maybe it's... Ripping. I also wonder, Rach, if her the housing for her scoring stylus maybe needs to be removed and reinserted. Maybe oh, it's too good, far down or something and it's that's adding too much pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another good possibility. Okay, I have found some pattern cardstock. However, I'm not sure that's really gonna go, but the theme of today is anything goes. So yeah. that's, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I mean, they really, well, that's not gonna be terrible. We'll do that one. When will the new files be available, Becca? As soon as we are finished live, I will... Actually, I can do it right now. I can upload them right now. Becca's such a giver. Out. She's such a giver. Here she Great goes. question. And then you all will be able to find those right like Becca showed you in that private Facebook group in that little Dropbox folder. Yes. Fantastic. Let me get these in here. And I can answer this because Becca is working very hard for you all. Um, Penny, why did you say to use the red tape for the ATG gun instead of the yellow tape? So we bought a replacement, a, a pack of replacement tape for our ATG gun, and we were under the impression it was the same formula, the same type of thing. So we got them here and loaded them in our ATG gun, started using them, and they were like, Becca, it, it, was it for like heavy duty? No, it's light. It's not heavy enough. It was for the ones that we wanted was for like cardstock and paper. And the one that we got was for like super delicate material. So it didn't have a lot of stick to it. It like wouldn't even roll on our paper. It wasn't very sticky at all. So basically it was unusable for us. Um, and it was yellow. We don't, we don't know. Just don't get those. Yes, Anna. Uh, Miss Patricia says, will your membership be annual or monthly? Do you have an approximate cost yet? Thanks so much. I can answer that. <clears throat> okay, yes. I'm, I'm counting. Beck Sorry. Is, no, Beck is working very hard. Yes, we do. So our membership will be both, depending on you and what you want. Um, the approximate cost, which is up for a little bit of debate, so don't quote us on it just yet. But monthly cost will be $19.99, and yearly cost will be $1.99. Um, for the year, we will give you all the same amount of perks 
in both of those tiers. We're not going to hold anything back from our yearly members. Um, or excuse me, we're not going to hold anything back from our monthly members and give extras to our yearly members or anything right, like there's that. There's only one tier of membership. Yes, there's one tier of membership. Two payment options is what it is. Um, we want everyone to have the same experience with Oak and Lamb. The only perk you're going to have to being a yearly member instead of a monthly member is that you will get a bit of a discount uh, by paying all at once, all up front. But that's a really good question. Yeah. Okay. The files have been uploaded. Uh, we had 22 new files added today, uh, which is a little bit bigger. We I normally try to do between 10 and 15. Um, so lots of new fun things for you all today. Okay. I'm going to remove this right here. Um, I'm not sure. Let me move this back so you can see. When we remove cardstock from the mat, we like to flip the mat over and remove the mat from the cardstock using gravity in our favor. What that helps is to avoid curling. So you can see that's pretty flat. Um, and it cut out really cute. Even though we distorted that ratio a little bit, it still looks really great. And Beckett, let's welcome Miss Kimberly and Miss Denise to the flock. Welcome, Yay. Kimberly and Denise. Oh my goodness, this is such a fun, exciting day to be welcoming. I can't wait to see all of you all in the, the private Facebook group. Yes. We love to meet all of our new friends, find out where you're from, um, what your favorite crafting genre is, all of that fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna load this light cardstock here and bray it on. I know you can't see it. My machine is in an awkward spot right now. Okay, so I need to go back over into design space and change my material setting to light card. You know what? No, I'm going to leave it at medium and oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to reduce the pressure or to, to normal because this is not, this isn't like a super thin one. It has the uh, metallic element to it. It's a little bit thicker than a standard printed cardstock. Okay. We're going to insert this here. I feel like I'm missing so much. It seems like you all are having so much fun and I'm over here counting cut files. <laughs> Count, I'm over here. <laughs> Becca, well, you said you were going to upload them after the live, and then you're like, you know what? No, I'll just do it now. I'll just do it right now while I'm also doing six yeah. other things. No, 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 no. No, you're doing six things. I'm just hosting and crafting, you know. Okay. Flashing start button. We're posting. Start there. Okay, I'm going back over to comments so that I can see. I mean, we have 102 people watching today, Rachel. I know. That's incredible. I know. It's That's great. That's incredible. Got my glow for this weekend, Erin. Oh, congratulations. Oh my, oh my gosh, I know you're so excited. Hey, that video is um, edited too. Rachel, can you remind me to email her that Glowforge video? Absolutely. Yes, the Who setup. Who are we emailing this to? Erin. Erin. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, the other day during a live, I said, Rachel, write that down for me. And like three days later, she said, I have this note and I have no idea what it means. <laughs> she said, well, what does it say? And I told her and she was like, oh, I, I knew. Know I figured means. it out, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so everything is cut out. I'm going to move this over to the side and I can unplug here. And then we will... Put this together. These envelopes go together super quickly. It's very nice. In the um, membership, when you buy it, you'll buy this, the course. Of course, that's how you gain access to our membership right now. And I made itty bitty like inch and a half envelopes yes. for a course that I taught. And it was so fun to make. Of course, using Becca's envelope cut files. And they're so stinking cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that plug. You're welcome. Um, this is the liner, obviously. We have our score line here, and all I want to do is just fold that. You can take your bone folder and just crease it if you want to. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other score lines here. Um, this is textured on one side, so I'm going to make sure that I do it in the correct spot. And I was telling Rachel, for some reason with my scoring stylus, sometimes it's easier for me to score the other way first or fold the other way first and then go back and refold the uh, other way. It's very interesting. I can see it better one way than the other, especially if it's textured. So I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go this way, but it just folds better for me. So I'm folding like this and then in just a minute, I'll go back in and crease those really well with the bone folder. But what I want to do first is put my liner right in here, line it up right in the middle so that the folds are right where they're supposed to be. And then what I do is just keep this held down 
pull this part down and then I'm gonna grab my ATG gun and put a strip of adhesive right here. And then I fold this down. One and, strip of adhesive, and just smooth, one? Just only one, right? Wow. Imagine that, like there's not a lot going on inside the envelope. I can't imagine. Yeah. Oh, but wait, I'm gonna put another one. So I flip up and then I'm gonna put a piece of adhesive here just as well. One? Just one strip, just, you know, just like that. You're only one. out here. Now, well, you know, I pay for the ATG now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> oh <God>. so, so <laughs> I have that there. Now we're just going to fold these in and this right here. And what I do, I put these guys in first. Um, I think that's technically what you're supposed to do. I see some people doing differently. If you happen to do it wrong, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, I just think this looks more finished. Anyway, so I fold those in and I put a strip of adhesive right here and a strip of adhesive on the other side. Fold that up, smooth it down, and then you can take your bone folder and be careful, especially with these cardstocks that have white core. If you try to crease them too heavily with the bone folder, sometimes it will scrape part of the cardstock off and you'll see the white core coming through. You don't want that. Um, and then I'm just gonna fold this part down and gently crease it with my bone folder as well. And I didn't size this to fit this but it fits pretty good. I think the liner's really cute that you picked. Look at that. Custom envelope that is so sinking cute, very quick, very easy, and oh my gosh. If I got something in the mail that had this fun scalloped lacy edge so on it, cute. oh, it would just make my heart sing, you know? Someone loves your nails, Becca. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I think we just got a new email. Did we, did we? Oh my word. Okay, Stephanie, Denise, Kimberly. You already said Kimberly, right? Stephanie, Stephanie's the newest one, yes. Stephanie, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the flock. I will send out um, welcome emails as soon as this is over. And you can have information. If you, can't ha if you don't happen to be able to easily find the flock, it will have that information. It will have the information about the cut files and all that stuff. So be looking for that email. And we had some questions. Does, does our new flock member members need to know their flock number? That's a great question. Let's talk about that really quickly. And I think I'll say this in the welcome email as well. Fl okay, so we have an amazing member who just decided that their order number, so when you place the, the order for the Craft of the Flock course, there's an order number. And they decided their order number was their flock number. And it just sort of like spread like wildfire in the flock. We all thought it was amazing. I don't have anything over here. We have since then created little ear tag, like keychains, and started using our order number as our sort of identifier. It's like a club member number. It's really cute. Love the idea. You do not have to know your order number. It's However, fun though. It's fun. If you want to know it, we could do a couple of things. One, you can look at your confirmation email and it says the order number. Two, if you have long deleted that confirmation email, then you can log into the website and your account, press dashboard and then courses. And then under courses, you'll see your order number there, or you can email us. Yeah. We're happy to look and it up for you. And also just letting you, some people ask in the Facebook group as well, which is, is great. Mm -hmm. It's easy for any of us to be able to get on there and help you uh, with your flock number. Also, what I was going to say was when we do uh, flock only giveaways and things like that, we will usually use th your numbers in order to pick those at a, at a random draw. Yes. So it is good to have that in your memory if possible. Uh, we, cause we use your flock numbers too. Yeah. yeah, we do. Super fun. This has been so exciting. I'm so glad we made it here today. If you're just uh, catching us or just coming on, we said at the beginning, we had some snow here in Morristown and honestly weren't going to do a live today because we were concerned about getting here. So we're very happy that it worked out and that we got to be live with you all. And thank you, Lisa, for this fun topic. Um, I am going to make a member only video on this. So if this seemed chaotic to you, or maybe um, you had some additional questions or something like that, there will be an interrupted education for you. Yes, Anna. Rachel answered it. I'm just that good that good. Someone was asking about how to calibrate their machine and Ooh. we just so happen that Becca already has a video on yes, it, that's which is true. so great. Yes. And then Becca, someone asked this question. Okay. Okay. It's a good one. What in, they were talking about it in the, in the uh, chat. She said, what in the world is a glow forge? Let me just pull one over for you. Let me, let me just, 
Just, get Lambert. just slide Lambert on over. There may be some good noises that you're about to hear because I've got to move some wood. Okay, no one's going to be able to see him. No, I'm going to move him over. Everyone will see and him. And then you're going to have to move the table down too. No, I'm not. The, okay. No, just I'm not. Say, no, I'm not. Oh. Okay. It's so worth it. They're asking. Yeah. There's there's some people wondering about that. Okay. This is a Glowforge. You can see we are No, also... you can't see a thing. No, 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 no. Wait, they will okay. be able okay. to. Okay, okay. It's also a storage shelf. Which which <laughs> Becca has told us repeatedly not to do. She has said stop putting stuff on this Who did this? Forge. I don't know who did <laughs> Mutton. It Mutton. was clearly not Mutton. me. The the office mouse mutton came in and did that. <laughs> It's so funny. Dad says he needs a flock number for his earring. For you? Oh. Well done. I was going to give you 666, but somebody already <laughs> has <laughs> it. <laughs> and they're a great sport about it. They mm -hmm. take it all in stride. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Lambert. Wow, Becca, we doubted you. He's now I am out of breath. But this is, <laughs> this is a glow oh, for it. And a Glowforge is a laser printer, which kind of messes with my head. I don't know why they call it a printer. I call it a laser cutter. No, Mom. That's Lambert, not Shep. Yeah, Shep's our Shep, or shelf. Elf. The elf. elf on a shelf. It, it says Lambert right on it. He's long gone to the North Pole, Jan. Yeah, he left a while ago. Oh, Went yeah. Went back home. <laughs> Can it? It's so fun. Never mind. I won't no. get into that. <laughs> um, anyway, this is amazing. We love our Glowforge. Um, Glowforge enables you to engrave or score in a variety of different materials. So you can use MDF board, acrylic, uh, vinyl. You can actually cut paper. I don't know why you would want to with your laser cutter. I'm right in the middle of a sentence. So I... <laughs> That's why I said you just, you pointed oh, me giving, at your convenience. I'm giving you grief. I'm giving you grief. Um, <laughs> finish I, your I'm thought. I'm assuming that this is 666 right here and she says we may not give her number away. Yes, that's her. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always say your name wrong. I'm very sorry. You were very kind and said I said it right, but I think you're just being kind. Maritza? Maritza. Maritza. I don't know. I'm Can so I ask sorry. my question or, or what? Um, like, yeah. You're still in the middle. What table do we have? This is one? It, the one, this one that you've cranked up and got out of breath. Oh, mom said that to stack the stuff on Lambert was ship. <laughs> oh, Jan, yeah, that's it. Yes. This is a husky table. These husky tables come in three different sizes that I know of. And the smallest one happens to be an absolutely wonderful size for Glowforge. I love it because you can't see it, but there are two drawers in here that we keep our, well, we keep a lot of stuff in there. But they're really great for the acrylics and MDF board and things like that for storage. And then I also love it, obviously, because it goes up and down. So for us here, it's really nice for um, lives to, to really be able to show you all. Yeah. And I, all of our I don't know that do I would that. need that feature at home. No, I don't think so. Uh -uh. But um, all of our tables here in the studio go up and down. It's very handy if yeah. you haven't done it. Yeah. Good choice. Anyway, so we are files, if you do not know, our SVG files are compatible with laser printers as well. Not just this laser printer. Um, all laser printers that I know of can use SVG files. Um, you can also use SVGs for lots of different things. Basically, any computer-guided cutting machine, which is a Cricut, Silhouette, um, Brother Scan and Cut, um, the Solo, there's one more I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure you got them all. You got mm -hmm. Silhouette, Cricut, Solo. Anyway, they're all compatible. Um, PNGs can be used for sublimation. SVGs can be too. But uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is our files can be used for lots of different crafting um, genres. Anything else? Your dad's trying to request another flock number. I think it is taken, but I'm going to check for him. He wants 777. Seven, seven. It's not taken. Because oh, it so that's where it did it that jumped. 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 You can that's, have 777. Seven, that's seven. yours, Dougie. You can have it. All yours. That's somebody was funny. really, yeah, somebody was really like, I think it was Maritza who ended up with 666 who wanted 777. Yeah. Seven, seven. No, oh, who yeah. wanted 777. Seven, oh. seven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this has been fun, friends. Rach, what is our schedule for this week? Our, are we going live tomorrow? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. 
we swear it is our best intention to get really good about scheduling these out. It, it's hard. It's hard to get everything done. Um, we would love to have them scheduled out for a month at a time. In fact, I made a list. I started making a list of lives. So maybe we'll at least get the last, next two weeks out. That would, yes. Yes, yeah. for sure. Uh, sorry, I was counting. We've had nine new members join with us oh my during the live during, during today. the sale today during this sale yes oh my and gosh. again this sale's only happening for today 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 only yeah. yeah yeah i mean that's not to say that we won't eventually do another sale but i have no idea when it will be um but today it's, it's just today for mlk day yeah. Are you going to be getting into 3D printing? I'm not sure if this was asked before. We've not asked this before. Um, Donnie and Julie have a couple of 3D printers, and I think it might be fun to bring one on a live. The problem is... It takes forever. Yeah, it's not like you could finish a project on a live. It would have to be... That's kind of why... Yeah. Yes, that's kind of why you also don't see us using the knife blade a ton, is because it takes so long, and you know... Time. Even, even like, the engraving on this thing, like, cutting and scoring and things like that. I'm going to move it out of the way so that I can grab this. Cutting and scoring and things like that are pretty easy, but if you go to engrave... Uh, if you want to do the overhead, I'll show them this. This is a craft fell that I had. It was so very sad. Um, I actually successfully ended up with one, but it took 38 minutes to engrave. This is a recipe, um, and it was... It was quite a thing. So that's not something that you could do on a live necessarily, unless I guess I could start it at the very beginning and go through everything. It would be a whole thing. Uh, we could figure it out. Anyway, it's super, super cool. You can see I had two er errors here. I'm just working it out for you all so that you don't have to do it. Uh, any questions? Can, you make, the, because can you make the envelopes bigger if you wanted to? Absolutely. Absolutely. So make it as big as your paper will allow. Remember, if you're using a mat like this, 11 and a half by 11 and a half is as big as you can do it. Um, if you are using a 12 by 24 mat, then you could do 11 and a half by, that would be a really odd shaped envelope, but 23 and a half. Um, there are pieces of cardstock from Cricut that come in 12 by 24 sizes. So if you did not know that, it, yeah. Now they're hideous colors. <laughs> they're just not great. They're not pretty at all. They're not great. Um, Miss April wants to know if we'll be doing embroidery. Uh, like hand embroidery or embroidery machine? Because someone asked something about an embroidery machine. Earlier. I have an embroidery machine. The problem is with embroidery machine, I mean, I could... We can do it for sure, but all of them are so, so different. It's not like I could actually teach the machine. You know what I mean? And I know as far as embroidery, like you have to digitize things and stuff like that. So that's a whole nother, it's not like you can just create. I, I thought mean, about, could, honestly, I thought about looking into what it takes to digitize things and going ahead and offering a digitized version of our SVGs too. Eventually, this will not be something like right now, but I, I I'm interested in that personally. Someone's asking if we've tried the borax trick yet. Borax? B-O-R-A-X? Borax. On what? Did I miss something? I'm Googling it. I don't know what you're talking about. The borax you're using in that viral TikTok hack is actually... Oh, is it a TikTok? Is it a TikTok? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Aaron will clear. Laundry it stripping? Is that what you're talking about? Because that's what's coming up and I'm Googling it. Mm -hmm. If so, I have not tried that. Oh, I know what that TikTok thing is. Where you put all your stuff in, in the, the bathtub. bathtub. And, yeah, I haven't yeah. tried it. That, uh, I gotta, gotta be honest, it looks so satisfying though. It makes me want to throw everything in the bath. Like people throw like their pillows and everything in there. Surely, yes, the sewing lessons. We did a couple of sewing ones. We're going to be doing the baby bib as well. And then we are going to do an entire, my mama is going to come help. We're going to do a whole sewing course and a whole quilting course. So that's going to be really exciting. Like your exciting. basics of like how to mm -hmm. hem pants and, and just like anything that you do, would really kind yeah, of need to know. Make buttonholes and sewing zippers and pleats. I mean, just basic things that will be in the sewing course. And, um, Part of it, at least, will will be free to members for sure. Um, 
Did I miss anything else? Oh my gosh, my sister tested positive for COVID Friday. She's a school teacher and vaccinated. Terry, I'm so sorry. It seems like everyone I know is testing positive for COVID right now. I, it's becoming a little overwhelming. However, I am happy that it's this round of COVID instead of the other variants. Yes. Not to say this is not bad and that some people don't but it take it well, but it to seems to yeah. not affect people yes. as as hard. severely it's more like a cold they don't seem to have all of those really awful side effects you know weeks down the road as some of the other co you don't lose your taste and smell with it so so sorry who to anyone who gets covid but it does seem that this strain is a bit better on yeah. you yes i have all those attachments but don't know how to use them i'm going to teach you how to use them mom and i are going to teach you how it'll be super fun um aaron's referring to the borax trick being on wood for glow forge to make it darker oh Oh, Becca. No, I haven't. Like the engraving this, gets darker? I'll have to look at that. That's this really cool. This sounds interesting, yeah. Cool, very cool. Um, oh, wow. Hemming pants would be awesome. I just took four pairs and it cost $58 at the local cleaners. Oh, goodness. Four pairs of pants for $58. To hem them, mm. yeah. Those are tiny little legs, too. It's not like it's a lot of... Right, yeah. It's not like they're bell bottoms. No. <laughs> Maybe they were. <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? You do a borax wash to make your design come and great. That is very cool. I, I'll look at that. No, I haven't. I haven't looked at that. Can you make alphabet mandala SVG file for us? Okay, I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest, Darlene. Um, mandalas scare me. The thought of making mandala scares me. And maybe I haven't ever done it. I'm trying to think of how to explain this to you. There's 10 layers, which is basically 10 cut files. So making one mandala is basically making 10 cut files. And then you'd have to do it 27 times if you're doing letters, correct? Yeah. So we're looking at 270 cut files for that. Ooh. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea. It may be something that I outsource to another designer because I personally don't have time to do it and right some, now. Some other people who've done it for a long time just kind of knock them out super easy. Yeah. It's nothing to them. Yeah. Um, that would be original I love for the us, idea, of course, though. but yeah. 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 Um, I'll write it down for sure um, as a future thing. Yes. And back up, Miss Darlene Johnson just joined as well. Welcome, Welcome Darlene. Darlene. Oh, this is incredible. So incredible. It's a good day to join. Listen, it really is. It really is a good up, day to join. We woke up, and here's my thought, too. When you own a business, it's so hard to get up and know that you might not be able to get to work and do something you love, like be, be live with you all. So when we were talking, we were like, well, you know, Wayne said the roads look fine, and Becca was like, Rachel, I can come get you. And I'm like, let's do it, because we, I want to go. We want to go live. You know, we want to have a little We want to be selfie. here with you all. Yeah, we want to yeah. be here with you. It's just really hard, because, you know, when you're growing up, you, like, live for those snow days. But now it's like, Especially wanna, my kids. Yeah. Is the snow going to be melted when we get home? I'm like, no. I hope not. I really hope not. But it's like, we want to come and be with our friends, which is you guys. So we're so glad we got to be live today. Yeah, it was absolutely. So fun. Yeah, Darlene, again, like I said, I'm I am writing that down. I have a list of cut file ideas that I either want to create or that I want to get for you all, and I'm definitely going to put that down. Um, and then once we're at a position in a place where we can afford to hire um, freelance designers, then I will look into that for you for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, I I could do them three or four layers instead, but still it's, yeah, it's true. Um, okay. I, I don't really want to get off because we have 110 with us right now. But. I know. And everyone's, most everyone's off work and you know, it's been, a, it's been a really fun live though. Anyway, we will be here live tomorrow at one o'clock. I don't know if it's me or Rachel, but one, one of us will be up here. The other one will be behind there. Um, I think we're going to be making a fun felt garland so Ooh. it'll probably be me <laughs> yeah also because it's sewn <laughs> oh my come on becca yeah well, no, some it's, hot it's glue very, my way or something it's very easy you can hot glue it but i want to show them how to sew it of course. so we had some requests for some valentine garlands and i opted not to create a valentine garland cut file because you can take all of those cut files that i made for you all and make garland out of them and i thought it would be better to put my resources and time and energy into those others than just 
putting some together. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a fun one tomorrow using felt, using our Benzie felt. I'm really excited about that. Um, so one o'clock be here tomorrow with us or obviously watch the replay if you can't. Again, if you're watching this replay, click the link you have until midnight tonight to join the flock at our discounted rate. Uh, we would love to have you. We're excited every single time we get that email. We Honestly, are. we squill every time. We do. We really do. We're it's, gonna talk about it after the live that 10 of you joined and how freaking excited we are. How Trust huge me. that is Trust for us. me, yes. it's amazing. Yes, it is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Rachel and I were talking about it uh, one day last week. My cheeks are hurting from smiling so much. <laughs> That's a good problem. It is. Um, we, we started looking up statistics for, did we talk about this on a live? No. We, we started look, we're looking up statistics for YouTube channels and basically how long it takes them to succeed, how long it takes them to get monetized, how long it takes them to reach like the 100,000 goal and things like that. And I, I told Rachel, I don't know if we were just so naive or what, but most channels that start don't succeed. 2%. 2% of YouTube channels hit 100,000 subscribers. That's it. And it was like only 40 subscribers in the first 30 Four, days. Yeah, it was said average. expect 40 subscribers in the first 30 days and 1,000 hours of watch time. And we, we had, had 40 within, I think, the first five hours. Yes, we had so many hundreds of people. And we're people only at 3,000 right now. Or which we're not saying yeah. is like, we're not <laughs> saying that. But, it's the little victories that's going to get us there. We yes. care about each and every subscriber that clicks subscribe. And we are so humbled and joyful that you guys seem to love us so much that you will, you'll dedicate time to watching these videos and subscribing. It's amazing. We had so many people private messaging us before we even started, before we even said this, we were going to do this. We had so many people private messaging us saying, you should do this. We would follow, we would do that. You know, we would support you. And I think because we had so much support out of the gate that it never occurred to us that it could be a flop. Yeah. And I don't like, know. We just felt so empowered by you all. And I said that I told, I told Beck, I said, I think it's, confidence and not cockiness because there's a there's a big difference in the in the both of them but i think beck and i are just so confident in what we what we do and what we know we can achieve for you all and the way that we care about you guys is just unmatched honestly we care about you all so very much it is our top priority to make sure that you guys know how appreciated you are um and no uh, we we just didn't think about that. We we knew that we were going to make people happy, that we were going to be happy, that we were going to kick butt at this. And that's and all that matters. Love. And that's like all our that community matters. and the people that, yeah. yeah. Speaking of community, welcome Roger, who just <gasps> signed up. Roger. Welcome to the flock. We are so excited to have you here as well with us. Um, this is, it's just amazing. And it Susan, really, Susan Bryant joined too. Just got that. Welcome, oh Susan. My welcome. My gosh. This is I amazing. could cry. It's, it's just... It's very interesting because I knew that I knew that I knew that this was what we needed to do. And I knew it was with the people that I needed to do it with. Um, I, we've talked about it. I am a God loving person. Um, and I believe that we have specific destinies and calls on our life. And I feel like this is what I was created to do. God made me creative for a reason. Um, he helped me network in this way for a reason. He laid out all of these different, um, seasons of life that put me in contact with this person that, um, opened this door in this way that gave me this experience. Like these are preordained things that, that God laid out. And, um, so I knew that I knew that I knew that this was what I was supposed to do. I thought that there would be a lot of struggle to get there eventually. Like uh, just because God does, God wants you to do it and opens these doors doesn't mean it's going to just fall in your lap and be it's super gonna be easy. easy. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying it's been easy, it's been easier than I thought it would be. Um, and, and I think that has a lot to do with the attitude we've had, honestly. Yeah. The the people we've had around us, the support that we've had, and the way that we've went, went about doing things is that when struggles hit us, because they have, we go through them knowing that this is a part of it and that no yeah. matter what struggles we hit, we've got so much support, we've got so much love that we can really get through any of these little business struggles. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep climbing and hope to hit some more business struggles to be able to overcome them and grow well, and, and get better. And when you're, when you're walking in your calling and you're walking your destiny, like it's easy, it's easier when you do hit those issues to say, you know what, it's going to be fine because I'm doing what God has called me to do and he's going to make a way he's going to make, um, basically he's 
gonna do what he said he was gonna do so like just having that faith and having that to fall back on just makes it a whole lot easier a whole lot easier anyway you all are phenomenal absolutely phenomenal um and we appreciate your support i don't know why you all are laughing I just, becca just yeeted i just flicked a like, like halfway across, across, across the, across the studio the i did i did she oh. thinks I'm Becca. He was just okay. crawling. Sorry. He was just crawling. And, and it was just like, bug? flick. And I was like, what? Well, Rachel's the one that pointed down. it out. And someone asked if our mouse was still here. Yes. And the answer is yes. We're infested or something here, guys. He has moved on from sweets because we removed all of the sweets in the studio and he's moved on. But this dude is eating through aluminum bags. If you hear my kids in Tendos, I'm very sorry. They've been troopers. They've been good and quiet. We've been live for an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And that's okay. We're having too much fun. Mm, I was just searching for a random video and saw Rachel's face. Ah, I found you totally accident, but totally excited to see your faces again. Karen, Karen thank, thank you. you. Yes, subscribe, 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 Karen. Um, if you all have not liked the video, go ahead and hit the like. Um, Those help. They do help. They I do. didn't realize that, but they really do they help. They help. They do. Everything helps. Subscribing also helps. And it really sure makes us happy. <laughs> even if you can't, even if you can't become a member, subscribing is super beneficial as well. Um, thank you all. We will see you here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have a fantastic day.